with Jan Oki Jonsson, who is Managing Director of Saab Automobile. Jan Oki, it's been more than eight weeks since General Motors and Koenigsegg Group signed a non-binding agreement over the sale of Saab Automobile. Now it's gone one step further? Well, I'm happy to report that uh, General Motors and the Koenigsegg Group have actually signed a share purchase agreement which is a milestone, of course, in the in the uh, developing the new ownership structure. And uh, whereas there are still some issues to resolve that will be resolved in the next few months, this is, of course, a very important step in order to secure a bright future for Saab. Now, crucially, does it mean that there's enough money on the table for a viable Saab for the future? Well, it is, of course, so that securing a new ownership structure together with uh, financial support from General Motors and the Swedish government. Uh, we have secured the future for Saab and the developments for Saab going forward. And will the conclusion of this deal really secure Saab's future and the jobs at Saab, which are very important? Well, the good thing with the business plan that we have now jointly also developed together with the Koenigsegg Group, there will be a strong focus on the activities uh, presently in Sweden, which is the development of our new vehicles as well as the manufacturing of our new vehicles and that is of course good news for the Saab organization. Obviously these negotiations have been between General Motors, uh, Saab's current owners and the Koenigsegg Group, but how involved have you and your team at Saab been in the process? Well we've been fortunate to be a part of this process already from the beginning, from the time that we developed the prospect as well as the presentation to different potential buyers, as well as of course during the negotiation, the development of the business plan, and up to this date, we have, on different levels, been heavily involved in all the discussions taking place. Now, back in February, Saab filed for uh, legal reorganization under Swedish law. What happens to that process now? Well, the current extension of the reorganization expires on August 20th. And we have decided that we will not prolong that. Uh, we see that we have achieved everything we set out to achieve in our reorganization plan. Uh, related to dimensioning the organization properly, creating a better balance between supply and demand, reducing our inventory, as well as, of course, restoring our balance sheet by achieving a composition, uh, writing down our debts by 75%. So now is the time to exit the reorganization as we have achieved all of these objectives. So new owners, new organization, reorganization, what does the future hold for Saab? Well, I think the future is very exciting. First of all, in the short term, we're happy to report that we have a production schedule that is full over the next seven, eight weeks. Uh, at the same time, we're now starting the launch of our new products, starting with the 9.3X this summer, uh, followed on with the 9.5. And these are, of course, excellent news for Saab going forward. It's obviously been a very tough few months, nonetheless. So, but the deal is now being done and it's going ahead. What's life like at Saab right now? Well, we have been fortunate during the, uh, this whole process, and I know also in the future, to have a tremendous support from all the people involved in Saab, whether we talk customers, dealers, employees. And I think everybody's happy that we have taken another important step into securing the future. So uh, we have to continue to work on what it remains to close this deal. But for the time being, I'm very happy.